My check exclusive. We got Sade. What's going on, man? What's going on with you, man? How you Sha doing? Sade. Sade. Yeah, man. What um, what made you choose music? Man, music is something I've always been into, man. It's um, how I do it, man. I'm pretty much more of a of a rhythm guy. You know, producing, rapping. I mean, you know, I don't sing, but um, you know, that's that's something that I always do. You know, it's just turned into a hobby and it's turned into something full time for me. So. Okay, so you're a music producer. What type of music do you like to produce? I produce mainly like uh, like rap, R and B. Uh, I get into the little pop side as well. So, uh, but mainly um, it's just it's pretty much just rap. How long you been uh, producing? Been producing, man. <sighs> Since I was like twelve. I'm twenty four now, so about twelve years, man. So. What have you learned in like the twelve years of producing? Man, <laughs> I learned a lot. Is uh, when I first started producing, it was. I was mainly producing, you know, like little hip hop, little beats. Um, it was kind of started out just making little, you know, little beatbox and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then as time goes on, you know, you kind of learn about, you know, layers and EQs, compressions and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. each year, pretty much how, how I do, I just try to, you know, try to learn as much as I can. So as far as on the producing side. Where is your music going to take your city? Ooh, yeah, that's, that's a good question. You hear me? You stabbed me one with that one. Um, you know, how, how I like to do it, how how, how I kind of look at it as far as, um, you know, St. Louis, I would really would like to put it back where it, where it used to be, you know, where we had kneeling and all that. You know, I really would like to get it back to the forefront. I just think that um, it's, it's going to take some, it's going to take a lot of cooperation from a lot of people, you know, a lot of unity from, from a lot of people. And uh, I think uh, right now we're getting a little shine, we're getting a little buzz, but I think um, definitely, I think, you know, for you know a few more artists, we're definitely getting there. Who have you produced so far, in, uh, in and out the city? Oh, well, uh, I produced, uh, obviously, my artist, um, Ski Main, and I produced for B-Star, as okay. well as myself. Um, you know, no no major artist. I, I can definitely probably nobody that child would know, but mm -hmm. um, I've been producing for, you know, people around school. You know what I'm saying? Ghost producers for anybody? Keep it real. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. Not yet. Not, not, yet. not yet. I ain't there yet. <laughs> I ain't there yet. That's what's up. Yeah. When did you start rapping and why? I started rapping when I was 16. That's when I officially said I'm just going to start rap because uh, I just had all these beats. I had like I had like 400 beats. And God, yeah, you know, it just, it just, it just. Yeah, it's high school. Yeah, I mean, you know, I would so come home and <laughs> come home and just, you know, do my homework, make a beat. That's that was pretty much the rule. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't, you know, get on the fruity loops and without doing my homework first. That was the rule. So, now I get on make a beat. I mean, you know, they, you know, um, and then one day I just started, uh, so I'm start rapping. I mean, I've been rapping, but I wasn't, I wasn't writing. Mm -hmm. you know, I was just freestyling, wasn't necessarily saying nothing. You know, it was it was it was pretty whack, but you know, yeah. I mean, but you know, you know, it it got to start somewhere. So when I was sixteen, that's when I officially, you know, came up with the shy D. Um, and yeah, well, explain more about the name. Where, where the you? name, uh, well, my name is Rashad, so okay. uh, that's that's kind of easy. And my mother nicknamed me. Well, everybody calls me Shadi. So if you think about it, you listen to the way how I say it, shy D. It kind of gives it a little flavor. So I just yeah. spaced the D, dropped the Y, shy D. So. And that was it. And then, uh, you know, also I kind of came up with Tim Bill, which is, um, you know, that's, an, that's another little nickname that I kind of came up with. Is that a clothing line you, you, you got too? The Tim Bill? Uh, it's, it's a regular. It was a brand. That's that's okay. that's the brand that I'm kind of, you know, just like what Jay-Z got, Rockefeller, so you, Rock Nation. So you're the CEO of the... Uh, Tim Bill, yes, I am. So okay. I'm uh, working behind the scenes on that, getting that record. Explain record. that, um, that uh, group you got, that or label. Well, Tim Bill Entertainment, I started that in July... Uh, of 2012 uh, currently I'm still working on business side of that to get it you know really to the forefront of that um, you know I don't really have the money right now to just you know just signing everybody in and everybody but right, right. Um, you know it, it it starts with it starts with letting everybody know about Tim Bill and and uh, that's the reason why you know I'm trying to get it to uh, get it to where you know it need to be and kind of let everybody know about it so I'm really trying to be one of those top independent labels you know that's that's really where I see myself in the next five years and putting 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 that plan into uh to fruition. How many artists do you have on the label so far? 
just just two. It's uh well including myself, but it just it's just two with the uh, B Star and uh, Ski Man. So and I have uh two more artists that I'm actually uh, looking to add as well. Um, we just gotta work out some kinks and kind of work the business part out as well. Okay, so are you all looking for more artists to be a part of the label, or are you all just kind of working with different artists? Because you know a lot of artists are gonna check this out. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to work with anybody. Anybody, how, how I how I produce, I don't just make like a single beat. Mm-hmm. I work on projects. And if anybody's looking to try to try to say, hey, you know, I want to work with you, I don't just work on a single beat. I mean, you know, that's just the way how I work. I'd rather work on your project, rather if I'm producing or not, rather if it's, we can get a beat from like him or him or him or something like that. I'd rather just put it all together and, you know, create a project. Man, that's how that's man, how fresh type that's how it is, what I'm saying. That's how I work, man. You yeah. know, I'm you know, Dr. Dre, Manny Fresh, yeah, uh, you know, did. those guys, man, you know, Pete Rock and all them guys, man. That's 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 how I am. I, I work on projects. I don't just work on songs like that. So who are all the producers you look up to, including those guys? Oh man, who so I was from Dr. Dre, Pete Rock, DJ Premier, um, you got three six with a DJ Paul, Juicy J. Man, you got a DJ Toomp down in Atlanta, man. He killing. He's, Still killing. He, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> DJ Toomp, that's like with that little that little bell that he got in that man. It's um, I mean, obviously you know newcomers like Mike Will made it. I like his beats a lot. Yeah. Um, you know you got a Tex Prime definitely. Um, that's that's. I mean, I mean, I, you know, I can I, I I'll be here all day talking about that. What man. sets you apart from one hit wonder producers? And uh, longevity for. Uh, but as far as the longevity, they, you got producers that come out, and they come out with the new sound. So then you have producers, new producers that come out, and they 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 emulate that. So then you know it, it kind of get old to them. You see what I'm saying? And first of all, you have a producer that's been in the game 10, 15 years. They stick to their sound. They stick to their craft. They stick to what they know. They go to beats and. You know, that's why you, you can be able to see, like, a guy like Manny Fresh, who been off the scene for a bit, and then mm-hmm. he come in and kind of, you know what I'm saying, come come back in and have, you know, a string of hits. So, for real, he come back in and have a string of hits. Yeah. And that's uh pretty much for me, you know, I kind of I, I kind of stick to my sound. I don't really get into all of that. So, what's your formula when it comes to producing and things like that? Do you take from organic uh, instruments or different programs or... Oh uh, me, I'm I'm more of a uh, I'm more I guess you can say the VSTs, mm-hmm. uh, oh, like yeah. in Fruity Loop stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you yeah. know the, those those programs. You sample um, at all too? No, if, if I do sample, is is I'm going to recreate it versus and just um, copy and paste and put it in there. My my partner Ski Man, he does that. He he's real good with sampling. Mm-hmm. I'm not really a sample. I'm more of a recreate it. Mm-hmm. Um, if I do add something, if I am going to sample, it's going to be. Like I said, I'm going to recreate, I'm going to replay it. And it might be in the form of a different... Do you play keys and stuff like that, too? You know, I, don't, I ain't know, you know, Stevie Wonder and <laughs> nothing like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know. Okay. I do I do a little bit, something like that. That's you know, cool. a little bit of time. So you can recreate, like, if I wanted a, um, like, a Can't Tell Me Nothing mm. beat, you can, like, recreate that. I'll, I'll recreate it, but give it my own spin. Okay. Definitely. It'd be like, Can't Tell Me Nothing all the you can, artists, you can tell me. You can, up, you can tell me something. It won't be can't can't tell me nothing. Can't tell me something. You know, it might <laughs> it might be a little bit something like that. That's how I am. So okay, I can definitely recreate it. But um, I don't I don't like to bite off of other because people come to me all the time like let me get a trap beat. Mm. I don't make trap beats. You see what I'm saying? Um, you know, if you want if you want a type of style, go to people who make that type of beats. I make more melody driven music. More soulful, more kind of more slow, eight oh eight driven. Do you have any uh, music we can listen to? I actually, um, I got some, got some on my on my phone. Okay, um, so, I have to listen to one of those before the interview. Yeah, so. So. Yeah, What's been a crucial part in your life that has fueled your motivation for music? Uh, I would have to say my well, the, the passing of my grandfather. Uh, you know, he passed in oh eight, and um. Before then, he he always taught me, you know, um, do 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 what it is that you want to do. You know, don't don't always try to, you know, because I know we had these things that people want to be doctors, or lawyers. Not everybody wants to be a doctor or a lawyer. Not everybody wants to go to school and get a degree. So and he always told me, if you want to do music, do music. And this is when I was 
five and six, and he's telling me that all the way up to when I was eighteen when he passed. And when when that happened, um, you know, I I that that kind of took the music drive out of me for a while. I didn't do music for at least about like two years. It it, it took a lot out of me. And um, finally, maybe about two thousand ten, that's when I you know and I for me that's it came back to the music for me because I tried to go in and get a degree and you know, tried to live a normal life, but it came back to the music because music is, is a ther it's therapy for me, and I'm able to use it and um, tell people what I go through in life every every day, so I'm more life-driven, and I, mean, I would definitely have to say my grandfather passing definitely was something very, very crucial. When you made those, like, 400 beats, like, in high school, explain that process, because a lot of people... Um, they might not understand the process of a producer. They might mm -hmm. not understand the process of an artist. Can you share a light on that? Oh, yeah. You might... Producing, you know, it, it may not be like 400 finished beats. It may be the skeleton of a beat. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I might go in and just work on drums, snares, and everything. I might have that down. Or I might just go in and just work on melodies and stuff like that, pianos and all those different sounds and instruments. And sometimes I might just finish the whole beat. So one day, and I was just kind of just, you know, just playing around. And I was listening to my beats, and I had like 400, like, you know what I'm saying, just all beats. And um, really, really the process for me is um, I kind of, I, I I might listen to something, and I might end up listening to like some old jams. You know what I'm saying? Like I might end up listening to like some Osley Brothers or something like that. Mm. Might end up making some rap, but... For me, it, it's 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 a I I try to create an organic feeling, um, and when I do make beats, it has to like all the lights got to be off, like you know it's, it's it it has to be just me and the computer, put the headphones on and and I can be able to zone out to my own little world and um, you know if there's too much going around me, I'm really kind of breaks my concentration. So for me, I really have to be concentrated and focused on it in order for me to really make a beat. That's what's up. Can we hear anything that you got so far? I mean, you know. A little something, something. Yeah, I got this. Uh, I want to hear some beats. <laughs> All artists out there, they want to hear some beats. Let's go. Don't do trap first. Oh, no, they ain't going trap. <laughs> Everybody hear trap all the time. Good, man. No, I'm I'm actually rapping on it. That's if that's cool with y'all. Yes. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, hey. Shadi, RTP, nigga. Hey man. Song called Just Chill. Our producer was back in 2011. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying. That's kind of some. That's something I got right there. Word. Um, not none too much, you know. It's some. It's some. You know. Some little simple right there. Okay. That I got. Uh, let's see what I got here. That's a song that I produce for my artist, uh, B Star. Um, mm -hmm. I produce. I produce quite a quite a bit. It's more on the. Uh, it's more more R and B. Um, I have a song called Conflicted. If y'all don't mind if I play it for y'all, like, uh, that's what it's for, man. <laughs> People don't even play that music. I gotta. I gotta showcase it.
Who's the male vocalist? I'm sorry. Who's the male vocalist? That's me. That's you. That's what I thought. Yeah, it was. you know, you know, a little bit of auto tone on that. You know what I'm saying? You know? We got another question uh, yes, for sir. you. What do you? Why do you think people don't come to shows? And how are you going to help change that in 2014? I just think uh, it's not enough promotion. I think people they they uh, they might book the show, but they don't they don't really go in into the promotion as much. They may not stand down on the street. You know, pe people these days they get kind of lazy. <laughs> you know, and they don't. You know, they 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 do enough just to get the show, and then they don't tell nobody about it. You know, if if that was me, I would have been all on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email blasting, standing out on the loop somewhere at Central West End. Anywhere where it's going to be a lot of people, malls, anything. Because um, that's how I used to do it back in high school. You know, whenever I might have a little show or something, or, or a talent show, or or even just a show at my house or something like that, you know, I would definitely stand somewhere and print out a lot of flyers or something like that and mm -hmm. stand it out, give it to people. Hey, this is my show. Come check it out. You know, or come up with some type of, uh, some, some, kind of some, some kind of goodie, you know, some maybe. Go online and you can get it, you know, with every free ticket, you know, you can get a free download or something like that. Come up with something. Make it interesting and go to the people because that's, I mean, at the end of the day, if you ain't got the people, you ain't really got nothing, so. Uh, we do freestyle on my check. Okay. Can you give us something? Absolutely. Let's see. I mean, you know, I ain't really no freestyle. You know, I let, I let it up to the raps, you know what I'm saying, the rappers, but, uh. Riddance, no I mean, you know, riddance, man. Let's see what we got you. You know, I'm rich, nigga. Excuse my language. I know my mama be listening. If my digits went tripling, would she even be tripping then? I'm froze, but that's how shit goes. I wonder if this is the life God chose. If so, why do we have foes? Why do we have pain? Why do that shit grow? I work hard because a nigga got debt to owe. My old life, I don't want to get back to those. Now I'm changing clothes. Had to change my flow. Got a real woman. I stopped chasing hoes. Those days was the worst days. Now I'm sipping blue dye because it's my birthday. But you ain't built. What's up, man? There you go. Any shout outs you want to give to the people? Anything you want to say to the people? Man, anything to the people, man. First of all, uh, I would like to you know, thank y'all, Darius mm -hmm. Robbins, man. I'd like to thank y'all for... Uh, giving me the opportunity to, you know, be seen, be heard, you know, giving me a platform and um, um, really, you know, shout, shout out to everybody, you know, all, all my little fans out there that I got, you know, um, up, 10 Billion Degrees, man, uh, it's coming out July 4th, um, I'm going to have a uh, album release party for that coming that's out. That's your album? That's my album, 10 okay. Billion Degrees. First album, second album? This is, uh, well, I mean, you know, it's first official, uh, okay. you know, first official albums that'll be out for sale. Um, you know, I'm gonna put it up on iTunes, I'm gonna put it up on uh, Bandcamp, put it up, um, you know, I'm gonna create a website where everybody can get it, okay. outlet, um, you can, you can reach me at, uh, let's see, t everything is 10 Bill RTP, so it's number 10, B-I-L-L-R-T-P, and that's at Facebook, that's at Twitter, that's at Instagram, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, everything is, uh, 10 Bill RTP, you can also get at me, man, at, um, you know, and also get at me at uh, timbillent at gmail.com. That's T-E-N-B-I-L-L-E-N-T -L -L -E at gmail.com. Or if you want to, you know, you want to text me, call me, 314-761-8907. Anything, man, wherever. I mean, I, I can be seen. You want to, you know, you want some cable, hit me up. You know, anything, anything you need, man. You know, I'm I'm pretty much, you know, just working around some the club. cable, what do you mean? Like? Well, you know, I got this, uh, this, this adventure that I do. Um, with Easy Care, it's called Easy Care. It's uh, I don't want to get off the subject, but yeah. it's called Easy Care. It's based out of Washington, Missouri. Mm -hmm. Um, I know recently Charter they just uh, you know they went oh, this cable year. TV, cable TV, cable oh, internet. Yeah, phone. That's what oh, I'm saying. You know, I, yeah, you know, I can't, you know, I can't, I can't, you know, switch the folks, but you know, I'm That's definitely all, all around business man. So, what about your YouTube? You got any music videos up there? You can. Uh, I do not have any music videos as oh. of as of uh, right now. We got you. But you, you know, but as far as uh, as far as the you know on YouTube, you can hit me up at Tim Bill TV, uh, YouTube dot com Tim Bill TV. That's T E N B I L L T V. So you can hit me up. You know, got some vlogs I'm coming out with a uh, T B T, which is Tim Bill Thursday. So uh, leading up to the album release, I'm going to release like freestyles and uh, singles, videos, vlogs, whatever.
Shout out Mike Check one time for us. Shout out to Mike Check, man. One time, man. Thank y'all, man. You know, I appreciate it, man. You know, thank y'all for giving me a platform to do what I do. Peace, man. All right.